Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. A channel that is pretty much about getting the skills to become a travel content creator. Another image sent in from Cameron. I'll show you what I like about his Instagram and this, the sort of things he does to achieve his style. Here is his Instagram and I'll be linking him down in the description guys. So go give him a follow down there. Let him know you found him through this tutorial. That would be awesome. So coming down straight away, first thing I sort of notice is the flatness he has to his image. So we're gonna have to do a nice roll off to the curves to achieve that flatness. And then another one is those really cool tones where you will be editing this one here and the model i'll also link her down in the description as well come down here give her a follow as well she's also got really nice content so i'll link her down in the description okay so the cool tones are really obvious to me the blues so there is a lot of like teals and like her white shirt for example and then when the image gets a bit darker and there's a lot more shadows and those shadows are quite warm so i'm going to be adding in like an orange or a red into the shadows to complement those blue highlights and then yeah quite a natural texture there might be a little bit of clarity in there but not too much sharpness really nice texture to it i really like it so this one's a good example of how warm those shadows go when it's a bit darker and then it's still holding quite a few blues and the highlights there really nice fade this is an awesome shot really like that shot and what i'm trying to do is really speed up these tutorials but then it's kind of hard to go into depth about what i'm doing with each tool like my thought process and stuff that's why i created my course where i'm going to go really in depth give you guys everything you know in order of what you should know and just everything i know and create the resource i wish i had then expand it into the number one photo editing resource because i'm going to be collabing with all these really talented creators that are also going to be submitting lessons uh yeah it's just the algorithm doesn't really play well on youtube if i do really long videos so over on my course i'm going to go really in depth and then in these youtube tutorials i'm sort of just like giving you the how and then my course i'm going to really give you guys the why and give you awesome resources like raw images and other creators tutorials and stuff like that uh yeah i hope to do a bit more traveling myself do some of these tutorials maybe on the road but that's once everything opens up up again and stuff like that but that's sort of what i want to do i sort of want to travel and do these tutorials at the same time that'd be pretty cool uh, so i'm working on that and let's get into this tutorial so cropping nothing major here if we just go into it four by five just centered her settings 18 so pretty wide 2.8 because it's getting pretty dark iso 400 and then probably just exposing it with that pretty fast shutter speed of 640 the first thing i would do in this situation is apply just a curves preset so this is one i made earlier all that it is is a preset for the curves so now we've got this nice s curve in the red green and blue channel they're basically the same and then this one is going to give us that nice fade let's carry on with exposing this image right dropping the contrast and up the warmth so that's a pretty good starting point now so you, so you can see like this has already added that fade to the blacks back there all right so warmth i want to be quite a bit warmer just get us to a good starting point because it was pretty dark and blue all right roll with that exposure Dropping the whites will also help us get this flat, nice, underexposed look. See how that just really dims the image. Yeah, it helps with the flatness in here, but it's slightly different up in the curves. Uh, all right. Shadows, just to give us a bit more brightness and see more detail. And then blacks, just control the darker contrast. Highlights, I'm thinking about detail. And then saturation can come down. We might do some in the HSL, but for now we'll just drop it. Right, and then clarity, I'm gonna bring down. I think this image is extra, extra soft and extra dreamy. So bring down the texture and clarity, soften things up. So before we do any HSL, we'll do split toning. So I think there's an obvious blue, like her shirt is very blue here. So let's get a nice teal saturation up and then warm shadows so those trees back there uh, they're quite green in our one but in his one they're like a brown so let's go with warm there and this is consistent throughout 
his Instagram, I believe. Yeah, and I think split turning were good. Let's shoot down here. Green, 15. That should be all right. So final touches really in the HSL. All right, so our lips are a little too red. Go orange, uh, oranges. So looking in here, that's where it's affecting. Let's go with that. Yellows. So just a little bit of her hair again. Um, I think in other images it's quite consistent that he has warm yellows. Uh, greens, can, can't really see much going on with the greens. Could warm them up a touch. Mm. Keep them there for now. Okay, aquas, quite an important one. I'm thinking since we added so much in with split toning, we should be all right. Uh, we just want to balance that out. Maybe about there. Teals, so mainly looking at the hat because aqua didn't affect the hat so the hat's pretty much all blues and then just saturation will take out a lot of those reds maybe to keep it kind of cold feeling yellows let's bring some yellows up let's bring those aquas out blues don't want too much of them okay and we're about good there let's just do some brushes so We'll start with a filter actually. So what I've done for this tutorial is already placed them. We've got one down here just to darken the bottom. And what that does, we'll just direct our eye upwards to the subject. I see this all the time. So just very subtly. And now some brushes. So just make the hat come out a bit more. Sort of a focal point of the image. Who knows, it could have been a sponsored post. And then just uh, for the skin, let's just grab this one here let's just add in some warmth to the skin this is all preference you might want to go for the cold feeling or you might want to make your skin look really nice we'll just go that it looks like his anyway so we've got one up here and what i'll do is just try to bring out the the warmth in the background so to bring out those gold tones the warm tones add in some warmth exposure if we just press o be able to see what we're doing. Uh, Dehaze to give it a bit of a glow. Saturation to bring those colors out. Um, maybe exposure down a bit as well. Don't want too much of that. Let's just roll with that. Yeah, I feel like it's a bit warmer back there. Right, we're about good. Okay, so I'm about happy with that. You might want to play around with like dropping the blacks just to see the same amount of detail and the like shadowy bits back there. Right, so let's grab the settings from here. Copy. We'll just untick. Uh, where's the brushes? Adjustments. And then we'll just copy everything. And we'll go on to another one. All right, so let's just paste these settings paste obviously too warm let's drop that reset the tint exposure let's get it nice and bright let's just mess with this a little bit shadows our blacks contrast bring the shadows down a touch white um, clarity, I don't think we, we need more texture in our one. So we'll actually do the opposite, see how that goes. We'll keep the drop in texture though. And then pretty obvious one is drop the saturation. And then we, we nailed the, um, the curves. You get that, not the same amount of detail quite nicely. We'll come down, just looking at split toning real quick. Let's just up the blues a bit more in the highlights. That's about it. Okay, coming over to HSL, some pretty obvious ones. So like the saturation of the blues. We'll just do this one real quick. We won't spend too long on this one, but like saturation of the blues. Oranges definitely come up. We want them popping. Uh, 35. Hues are all good. Let's go there. And then I think we could have a little more flatness to our highlights. Let's just drop that a touch. We might look a little too cold overall, the entire image. Uh, it's quite hard to tell because um, his is a screenshot and I can't really tell the texture and sharpness that well. But um, yeah, we're pretty good. I, I think in the shadows, he's a bit warmer. Like we could add a touch more warmth. And then just in the curves, maybe it's too bright around the bottom here. Okay, so one thing I haven't shown you is, again, we've got a filter down here. So dropping the exposure, just trying to 
bring our eye up to the subject clarity to bring out the texture of the road it's not essential though maybe just leave it off and then i brought down the temperature just to make it look way more natural came off really warm purples to just take out that green and then just we've got one other brush on our subject here so if i press o just over our subject make it pop out a bit and we could also add a touch of warmth to our subject as well and then um, I noticed there's just, there's just like a touch more fade on our subject. So maybe I could lessen up on the exposure. Yeah, I think that looks a little better. And then maybe I could go a bit harsher on the fade here. And then maybe a few more highlights just for that glow in the background. I uh, might just drop the contrast a bit and then just overall exposure and it looks better and then just for the yellows you can see like our, our trees are far too orange so I want to get back a few of those greens and then maybe luminance of the yellow see so how this creates quite a pop and like the top of her beanie there like you can see that's got a real shine to it if we drop the luminance again you can see we don't have that uh, same with the trees just get that shine and then saturation of those oranges, uh, pretty good. And then again, maybe contrast, uh, maybe more saturation to those trees though. Hold a bit more orange. And then we're looking really flat. So maybe the whites, just for a bit more of a pop to that background. Maybe the highlights. And then sharpness is quite hard to tell, but since the clarity is up, maybe we should take out all the sharpness just to keep the texture of clarity, but then not have it over sharpened. And then maybe I think just to help our subject pop a bit, maybe the luminance of the oranges wouldn't hurt. And then maybe we've brushed our subject a little too bright. Let's take it away all together. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty good. I might just leave it there guys. There's a bit more of those trees we could match up a bit better. Uh, maybe more warmth to the greens, but I'll just leave it there guys. Here's our before and after.